Hey guys, I just got done talking for 20 minutes and realized that the camera was not on. Uh, today is, is August 26th and I decided to take today off of work in order to get as many farm projects out of the way as possible. Um, the baby is scheduled to be in our arms uh, September 2nd and so um, once I'm on paternity leave, I want to be able to just focus on helping my wife with anything. Yeah, so I need to knock out these projects. Um, I'm going to Menards today. I'm gonna try to get some uh, PVC uh, corrugated uh, paneling. Now, I probably won't get enough to complete the project, but I at least wanna sorta of do part of it so I can get a feel for how the rest of it might go but the idea is to attach them on the underneath side of the uh, deck so that um, yeah the underside of the deck so that when it's raining I can go out underneath the deck and not worry about rain coming down so they'll be at a slight slope um, and then eventually I'd put a uh, gutter to collect all the water and, and route it um, so it's not just splashing down. But the initial, the initial effort in the project would be just to get something up there and then uh, install the uh, runners so that um, as closer to the house it's up along the deck and then as you get further out it will slope down. Uh, I also want to mention that um, I did get a farm truck. Uh, you might have seen a video about where I replaced the uh, door reflector, and um, yeah, I, f I feel pretty good with the uh, with the fine. It's a 2001 Chevy Silverado uh, 1500. It's a five-speed manual. Yeah, so it is a 2001 Chevy Silverado 1500 five speed and it allows um, allows me to be able to pull a trailer and also fit two car seats in here it actually has the anchors uh, like over the top anchors for um, fastening the uh, car seats in here and um, so on this one, I end up having to put a uh, five point harness in here because it doesn't have the over the shoulder seat belt. Um, but it does have the over the top anchor that anchors directly onto into the cab. Um, so I was able to sell the Subaru and then add a few hundred dollars to that money and get this truck. Now, technically this truck had pre three previous owners, but if you look at the Carfax, it basically was, this truck was at the dealership for up to 11,000 miles. Then uh, a person bought it for and had it for 18 and a half years. And when I was checking it out, I looked in the glove box and there was a log that had pretty much every fill up since 11,000 miles. Now, I figured if a person did that, they probably took really good care of the truck. And this truck only has 110,000 miles. Um, so, I feel like it has a lot of good bones. Now, it has some rust, but nothing super major. Um, and it has a bed liner. Now I checked underneath the bed liner and there was no trapped moisture. So I felt pretty good about that. And then um, it came with a uh, diamond plated uh, toolbox, which is deep enough for me to put a cooler in there. Um, but yeah, so one of the other projects I wanna work on, I probably won't be able to get it started today, but uh, is build a crate large enough in the back of the truck that I can take Gandalf to market. Um, I need to get rid of him. Uh, he's been out, he doesn't do well with the other Ram 
and he always uh, tries to attack me. So um, I'll take him to nearby um, farm auction to get rid of him so that then I can handle and, and assess the other sheep uh, more frequently. So it might be best for me to go ahead and do the nesting box first. That way if I need to put it in the chicken run, then I can do that before closing it all up. The other thing, the other project I need to do is finish uh, putting the Farmer Brad sign. And I've never done anything with uh, bricks before, so um, that should be interesting. Um, I'm gonna get some clay sand in order to mix and make my own mortar. And I've also never drilled into brick before, so gonna get all the brick in place let that cure and then uh, get the other parts in place and then I should be able to have a, a nice install Matt Menards and uh, looks like they don't have 11% going on today but um, hopefully I'll be able to take you along and uh, let's get these projects started So here is the uh, mortar mix, it's pre-mixed, which I might go ahead and just do that instead of uh, the sand. So I ended up getting this 8 foot PVC, this ends up being uh, 13, 48, and I got 1 inch screws. And uh, I'm not sure how much overlap. I'd say maybe at least two grooves of overlap should work. Now let's look for some patio blocks. So I ended up getting these two patio blocks for the aerator base. I, I want to set it on those blocks and then dig a trench for the air hose to be positioned well. So ended up uh, getting my hair cut at Great Clips because I had some time to kill before dropping off the UPS boxes. So got everything I needed at Menards. Um, I think it was a good trip and it is 836 so making some good progress um, just trying to think through which project would make sense to start first and then uh, just try to work down the list so uh, you'll find out <laughs> what I decide I end up giving uh, Porter Advertising a call and they sell their vinyl uh, billboard signs, uh, the retired ones, for 20 bucks a piece. So I'm gonna try to pick up three of those because we have a section underneath our deck that weeds are growing a whole bunch and I'm thinking of just getting all those weeds out there then just laying that down and then I don't have to worry about those weeds piling up. So I didn't really get great footage in order to close out this vlog, so I'll show you some of the projects that I did do. This is the aerator pump install for trying to minimize the amount of algae in the pond. So I was able to get that installed very nicely. And then I had to do some masonry work on the new sign. I had never done masonry work before. Also picked up things around the farm and checked out the new billboards that I got. 
Hope you enjoyed this vlog and uh, to finish it out I got some drone footage where I just was buzzing around the farm. Uh, this is the high tunnel that the plastic ripped so I'm going to hold off until the spring to add that back in there. And then uh, the fields near us are soybeans this year from a conventional farmer. And then the uh, chicken town is growing and the garden is doing well. Also you can see in the distance the new chicken run that I still need to finish but at least the next box is there. And make sure to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, thanks.